Businesses and residents of Okahanja are unhappy about the frequent power blackouts, saying the constant electricity interruptions have a negative effect on their businesses and livelihoods. Residents say interruption can last between eight hours and two full days. Manager of a local supermarket at the town, Garage Simok, says product gets spoiled when the power goes off. Computers also get damaged, forcing the business to spend money on repairs. There are times that uh, two to three times per week, and there are times that uh, per day you experience it three or four, five times even. And uh, it's used to affect the business. Let me say, for example, here. Most of the problems which we are having, the computers themselves, they go off. Usually we have to call the technicians to come repair, and that's costing. Apart from that, we see that a lot of products, they are getting rotten, because most of the products which we are having here, they depend on the fridges. And once those fridges, they are not working for two, three, four, five hours, is a big loss. Maris Canel, assistant manager at Beef Co, a butchery selling meat and other beef product, echoed the same sentiments. Negative effect on the business, sales wise, and our products are going off. Um, the cause of the power outage is the cables that are faulty. Most of the transformers are not um, up to date or being serviced, and the cables are being stolen. We are looking into um, to solar panels to go solar and get a backup generator. Hans Kawazunda is a self-employed and owner of Hanzo Printing. He has been operating his business at the Smarties SME Park for the past 15 years. He emphasized that power cuts are bad for business. We end up uh, giving customers money back. We end up losing business because there's no other choice. Yeah, if we, I'm saying, if, if I could know that there's something coming like this uh, for these 15 years, I would have make another plan. At the moment, I don't have anything to do because it, the, the announcement is not there. You just find yourself as a surprise. It calls and it's off, so you have nothing. You wait, wait, wait. You have to close and deal with the customers who are angry, deal with people who pay back and everything. So it, it's affecting us very, very badly because it's a source of income. We don't have other employment, we don't have other things where we can get uh, income from. Uh, it, it's our business. So it's affecting us very, very badly. Rhonda Shiepo, a resident at Naub Aub, says sometimes when the power cuts, she does not have money for candles and leaving the family in the dark. We always don't get notifications from Senare that they maybe be cutting power, and maybe if they are even fixing something, so we don't know when or how they are cutting or switching off the electricity at the main uh, switch. You know, maybe for kids doing their homework, it's very difficult to to maneuver a uh, movement. Cause with candles, it's a bit difficult to see or to uh, help the kid with homework. Sometimes you won't have money to buy candles and then you'd be left in the dark. And we are also losing um, signal on the cell phones when the power is off, so you'd be having difficulties communicating with someone. Javier Soresab, Elena at J.G. van der Waal Secondary School had this to say. When the power goes off, you can't cook, you can't study, you can't do anything in the dark. And one thing that also affects the, the, the how should I say, the problem people in the community they go into places they steal people's things and all stuff all things happen in the dark so power here in Okaina is very it's a big 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 problem here when contacted for comments Senator's public relations officer Charlie Matengu said the power cuts are results of copper wire theft Matengu says investigations are ongoing in collaboration with Nampol it has also established that the stolen copper is being sold to scrapyards